everybody, my name is Adam Stramwasser and I'm the author of this book, a kid's book about money. I'm originally from Caracas, Venezuela and I currently live in Miami, Florida. So here I am in Miami and I'm gonna read to you my story, my book, a kid's book about money. Let's start. Hey, my name is Adam and this is a kid's book about money. Let's try something. Say dinero. Look, the dinero. <laughs> Actually, what's dinero? So, congratulations, now you speak Spanish. Dinero is Spanish for money. That's right, dinero is Spanish for money. Money can be bills, coins, digital coins, checks, and we carry money in a wallet, on bank cards, on a phone, on our watch. Have you ever wondered where money comes from, why we need money, what, what money can buy, or how to get more money? Have you ever wondered that? Money can be really complicated, even for grown-ups, but it doesn't have to be. Let me explain. Money is just a tool. It's a tool that gets us things we need or want. For example, a grown-up bought this book for you. Guess how much money they paid to buy it? One million dollars. <laughs> Not really, it was about like 20 bucks. <laughs> Imagine how many bananas you could buy with 20 dollars. 20, 30, 40 bananas? That's a lot of bananas. Now, think about how many extra chores you would have to do to earn that much money. Probably a lot. Note to grown up, have them do more chores. <laughs> You see, money has value to get things both big and small that we need or want. So, how do you make money? Work. We need to work to make money. That's how we make money. That's right, smarty pants. We can all get money by working. Work is when someone spends their time making, doing, selling, teaching, performing, fixing, helping, doing all of that for someone else and they get money for it. Work can mean being a babysitter, a photographer, an Uber driver, a doctor, a pilot, a teacher, a baseball player, or a ballerina. So let's say you did some extra chores around the house last month and your grown-up paid you 20 bucks. Woohoo! High five! <laughs> you have 20 dollars now. What should you do with it? That's the question. Well, you could buy toys for $20, you could buy a movie ticket for $11, you could buy cheeseburgers for $7.99, a room full of balloons for $17.50, some clothes for $15.50, or candy for five bucks. But you can't buy everything, right? You only had $20 to start with. Now, don't worry, there are some things that do not cost money, like hugs, laughs, sunsets, rainbows, that doesn't cost money. But really, some things do cost a lot of money, like a bouncy house. <laughs> so what do you do now? First, figure out what you need, like food, clothes, and school supplies. Then you figure out what you want, like toys, candy, video games, or a puppy. <laughs> Sometimes we only have enough money for the things we need, and we have to wait and save up for the things we want. You're smart, right? Smart kids don't spend all their money all at once. You're smart with money when you save a little, you spend a little, and you also give a little. Think about it. If you earn $50 and you do, do not spend it, spend it, when you earn another 50, you'll have 100. That's called saving. Now you could use some money to buy yourself a toy. That's called spending and buy one for a little kid that doesn't have any toys, and that's called giving. See, money isn't that complicated, right? So remember, always save, spend, and give. As long as you do that, having dinero will be lots of fun. The end. <laughs>